Hello and welcome to Agile Tech Channel. My name is Christian Reeling. I'm Senior Systems Engineer at Agile Technology. And in this short video, I will show you how to install our Universal Desktop Converter into a virtual box machine. What are we going to see in this video? First, I will show you where to download our Universal Desktop Converter to. Then we will proceed with the installation into a virtual box. What do we have to take a look for? And the last step is to do the licensing uh, that you have an up and running testing environment. To download our software, you can just go to myigil.biz. Here we have our download website, no registration needed. You can just go here and download all our software components. And the one we are searching for is the Agile Universal Desktop Converter. Then we go to UDC Stick version 5. And we start the download for the new version 508. First step after downloading the zip file is extracting the ISO file IGEL UDC CD ISO to our file system because this is needed for the installation into the virtual box. All the other stuff is only needed if you want to create a new speed stick and to use it to manually install it to a fat client. Now we can start with creating the virtual machine. I'm opening the virtual box manager from Oracle Virtual Box and say, okay, I want to create a new machine, giving her a name, in my case, Universal Universal Desktop Converter. As type, I will give him a Linux uh, and a Ubuntu 32-bit. That's mostly fitting to our operating system. I will give the system a little bit more uh, memory one gigabyte is enough, but for better performance, I will give him two gigabyte of memory. I will create a virtual hard disk for it in VDI type. Dynamically allocated is absolutely okay here. And eight gigabyte is full enough. We need round about one or two gig space. And with eight gigabyte, we have enough space for everything. So. After creating the virtual machine, we have to do some settings here. Um, the first and important stuff is to give a MAC address. If you already have a license for a test machine, then you have to specify the correct MAC address. If not, you have to note this down for a later step where we have to create a request for the test license. I already have a license and will just copy the information from one window to another window. After we specified the MAC address or noted it down, we have to think about our environment. So if you installed the UMS server locally on your laptop or computer, then it's a good idea to choose host only adapter, then it's only possible for the virtual machine to connect to the UMS server. For the first step, that's really enough. I have to choose the correct virtual box network for my setup here. It's VBoxNet0. You, of course, you also could create a bridged adapter, for example. Uh, then it will be possible for the next steps to connect to your Citrix environment, VMware environment, whatever you have. But for the first configuration steps, if you're not sure, it's also okay to take the host only adapter. Then we have to save it. And the next step I want to do is to add our installation ISO file. So we go to storage, go to the empty CD-ROM slot here and choose a virtual optical disk file. I've put it to my desktop. So just having a look here, IGEL UDC CD.ISO. Okay, and that's all. Now we have everything prepared for the installation. After we did all the settings to the virtual machine, just start the virtual machine and our installation agent should start immediately. Um, this now is a normal installation of our universal desktop converter. It's the same like you would do it on a normal computer with a USB stick or something like this. 
First, we have to choose our language, our preferred language. In my case, it's English. And we will get some information that the UDC license is bound to the MAC address. Uh, we have to agree our license agreements here. And now we get some information about the target drive. So, for example, if you have more than one disk in your computer, you can choose which disk to install. Also, for example, you can install it to a USB drive or pen drive. And important to know is that all data on the target drive will be destroyed. There's no dual boot installation mechanism or like something like this. So be sure that if you install it to a normal computer, that you install it on a disk where you have a backup or where you don't need any information. The firmware um, is mentioned here. So we have the new version 508100. If it's a normal computer, a uh, standard computer from some other vendors, you will see that he will recognize all the hardware information here and will say, okay, it's this model and it's fully supported, stuff like this. In our case, it's a virtual machine, so it's not easy uh, to recognize what it is. And if we click on this information, he will tell us, okay, we only will have Visa graphics mode, no multi money support, stuff like this. But for our testing, it's absolutely okay. Um, and then he told us that there is apps at the moment no license available. We don't have to carry this moment. We will do it on a later step. Now, if I click on install uh, the universal desktop converter, there's no question for if you are really sure. So this step will delete the partition table, create new partitions, install all the stuff to the uh, disk you have chosen in the first step and all the data will be deleted on the disk now. So no step back. After a few minutes, around about two or three minutes, uh, the installation of the converter software should be done. You see here, Agile Universal Desktop Converter built finished successfully, and we can just say, okay, please reboot my system. It will ask you to remove the disk from the tray now we are restarting the system and this is now our agile operating system up and running starting and you see here we have our first virtual thin client up and running in this environment he's searching for the agile server he's successfully connected everything seems to work fine after we have done the installation uh, we should just go on our website on products free evaluation units for requesting a free testing license for the converter software. Just choose yes here, type the MAC address of the virtual machine, uh, fill out the information and send it to IGEL. After we got the license file, we can just import it to our UMS go on system license management and choose the correct license file where we have put it on, it on the desktop. Say OK. It's fully uploaded and registered. That is good. So we have a license here. You see the MAC addresses that are licensed and you can say OK. Next step is to scan for the thin client in the network. So if they are in the same network, you should find a thin client now. Yes, this is our universal desktop converter with no valid license. I would say OK. Include. Say OK. Now it's registered to the thin client. And then we will do the license uh, update to the thin client. After you added the license into the universal management suite, it's enough to just reboot the thin client or the virtual thin client to get the license on the thin client. If there's any trouble during rolling out the license to the client, please be sure that all the ports mentioned in the first video are open between the thin client and the universal management suite and that the management server is available and reachable from the thin client. If then there's any trouble, 
please feel free to contact the IGEL pre-sales support at pre at IGEL.com and we will help you with all the stuff, of course. After the reboot is done, um, we can check if the license is already implemented on about and you see here there's no hint to no license on this synth line. So now we have a fully licensed test machine with, which we can start with. Going back to the server, I want to reset the machine to factory faults for the next step. So just reset to factory faults. Yes, go back to the machine. And resetting the synth line to back factory default uh, will not delete the license. So everything is fine. All settings we have done are now gone, but the license file is still available on the client. So thanks for your attention. Now you have a virtual thin client where you can test all the stuff and do the next steps of the next videos. If there was any trouble with setting up the thin client, feel free to ask our pre-sale support or take a look to IGEL eDocs and then hopefully you will find every information you need for getting everything started.